sometimes it can be handy to have an amplifier that amplifies a sine wave or a square wave to a more or less substantial level. And then I mean 7 volts or 10 volts AC output. For instance in the measuring circuit that I have showed earlier on my YouTube channel. Uh, many function generators don't have a high um, AC output and perhaps this amplifier can help. It's an AC voltage amplifier. It can amplify a sine wave and square waves in the range um, 100 Hz up to 1 MHz. In fact it's a kind of audio amplifier though there are a lot of adaptations. Uh, there is here a quite high resistor and also here the aim from the circuit is that it amplifies voltages not current. An audio amplifier is a current amplifier <coughs> where uh, small audio signals change into high currents in your loudspeaker but that's not the case here. Here it's only uh, voltage amplification. The decoupling unit B uh, BD transistors, NPN and PMP. And very important, there is a backup link circuit going from the output to the input, and that makes the waveform pure and has a very substantial effect on how pure uh, the sine wave or the square wave is visible on the scope and is available at the output. The output is an 8 microfarad non-polar capacitor. These capacitors in the, in the back coupling unit are critical. Do some experiments. These are my values and look at the same time on the scope to get the purest waveform. And also here a small capacitor from 4.7 picofarad. Here is the circuit in real. classical way that I make my circuits. And let's uh, look how um, the circuit amplifies. This is perhaps important to uh, tell. Here are the input and the output voltages. Input 0.2 volts and here you can see that on the low frequency there's not so much output. But say from 1 kilohertz up to 1 megahertz there is a quite substantial AC output. Let's look at, uh, at the scope and the frequency. It's now um, on 1 megahertz. And this is the waveform, the sine wave on 1 megahertz. Let's switch to the square wave, how, it, how, how that is amplified. This is how the square wave is amplified. Not so, not perfect anyway. It's a kind of triangle wave. But anyway, we go now to 100 kilohertz. And this is how 100 kilohertz looks. 98. 100 kilohertz. And this is how the 100 kilohertz square wave amplification looks. It's not perfect, but useful, I think. We now go to uh, 10 kilohertz. I think a good amplification, approximately 8 volts out of 0.2 volts. And this is how the square wave looks on that frequency. Not perfect, but anyway, good enough for uh, some applications. Now we are on uh, 1000 Hertz. This is 1000 Hertz sine wave, 1000 Hertz square wave. And we go now to 100 Hertz. 100 Hertz sine wave. You can see that the amplification is not very strong on that frequency. And square wave. Well, it's not a square wave any longer, but anyway, I think it's a useful circuit for hobby purposes. 
etc. So, uh, perhaps interesting, bend over somewhat, the, the resistors are in uh, many cases power resistors, because the whole circuit works on 40 volts, and that's a lot, and normal resistors, say 0.3 watt or so, can get warm or even hot, and that's not good. So use uh, resistors that can handle uh, the, the, the voltage and the current.